the citadel of American democracy under assault once more. This time a lone attacker of unknown motivation. A few minutes after one o'clock, he drove this car towards the North Barricade outside the US Capitol. He didn't stop and headed directly towards a reinforced barrier. As police tried to stop him, he ran from the car armed with a knife. He did not respond to verbal commands. Uh, the suspect did start lunging toward US Capitol Police officers, at, what, at which time uh, US Capitol Police officers fired upon the suspect. At this time, uh, the suspect has been pronounced uh, deceased. And it is with a very, very heavy heart that I announce one of our officers has succumbed to his injuries. The National Guard, already present here as a result of heightened security since January, were dispatched to help. Neither the House nor Senate were in session at the time, and at this stage, it doesn't seem to be a terrorist attack, domestic or foreign. It does not appear that he is known to the Capitol Police or the Metropolitan Police Department at this time. Is this a terrorism related Sir? Is, there a, is this a terrorism related incident? It does not appear to be terrorism uh, related, but obviously uh, we'll continue to investigate uh, to see if there's some type of nexus uh, along those lines. It is another dreadful day for the U.S. Capitol Police. One of their own was killed in the January the 6th attack on the Capitol, and two have since taken their lives. Today, another member of their police family is dead and a second injured. The dead officer has tonight been identified as William Evans. He had been with the force for 18 years.